Hi guys, how are we tonight? Welcome to another night of true peace with your man servant, minister and prophet Alan. I just want to say that God is good. Amen. And um, I'm still here. Tell somebody I'm still here. Tell somebody you're still here. You're in the land of the living. And God is still God in your going out and you're coming in. Tell somebody I'm still here. Come on, come on, come on. Tell somebody, I'm still here, I'm still here, I'm still alive, and because I'm alive, all things are possible. Come on, tell somebody, I'm still here, I'm still here, I'm still here, and because I'm still here, all things are possible through God. Amen. Get your white glass of water. We're going to be praying early tonight, and also get your your olive oil. Amen. Tell somebody I'm still here. Come on, come on, come on. Tell somebody I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm in the land of the living. I'm I'm here. Come on, tell somebody I'm here. I'm here. Come on, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to speak over your life. I'm still here. I'm still here. And because I'm still here, all things are possible all things are possible with God because I'm here I'm still here come on come on come on come on shout it out I'm still here I'm still here come on let let the Holy Spirit take over your body let the Holy Spirit take over your body I'm still here I know it's been a rough week for some folks it's been a rough week for some people some people went to hell and back. The situations have been so hard. You, if it wasn't for God on your side, you don't know where you would have been. So come on, tell somebody, I'm still here. God is about to change the... Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm changing course. God is changing my course. Tell somebody, God is changing my course. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm gonna it looks like nothing is happening for me right now but God is still changing my course God is changing my course God is making a shift so whatever that was meant to kill me shall make me live come on tell somebody whatever that was gonna dare to kill me is gonna make me live don't worry about those folks amen who 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 wishing you bad because they will not see your demise because God is about to show up and he's going to show off his glory on you. Amen. Don't worry about those that are wishing bad about you. Come on now. You're not going to worry about those folks who are wishing you to fall because God is going to catch you and lift you up. It doesn't matter how you're looking. It doesn't matter how things seem. God is going to lift you up. In the midst of your pain, God is going to lift you up. God is going to... Don't worry about those folks. Folks, don't worry about them at the workplace who think that you're going to fail, who thinks that things are not going to work out. It's going to work out. God is going to lift you up. I'm still here. I just want to tell the devil, I'm still here. It doesn't matter what the devil tried throughout the week. God has still been good to me. God has still been good to me. Good night, my brother. Welcome, everybody, to Tree Peace. Prior praise on the prophetic. Amen. Welcome everybody. Welcome everybody. Welcome everybody. Welcome everybody to Tree Peas. You're watching me for the first time. Send me a friend request. I'm still here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. It looks like nothing is going on. But God is working things out. Tell somebody God is working things out. God is working my situation out. I know it doesn't seem like it's going to happen. But with God all things are possible. Don't, do not, do not, then listen, don't let anybody defer you. Don't let anybody make you feel that God is not going to come through for you. God is going to come through for you whether they like it or not. God is going to work things out for you. As a matter of fact, as we speak, God is working things. My change is yet to come. And I'm going to believe God for my change. It doesn't matter what comes. This is a different type of ministry, y'all. I'm not going to be who you want me to be. I'm going to be who God wants me to be. So listen, take the word. Take the word. Take the word and let it become life in your life. 
Let, tell God to manifest. Say, confess this to God right now. You're going to affirm this over your life. God, manifest your words through me. Come on, tell God one more time. Come on, let, let the enemy next door hear you and tremble. Say, God, come on. God, manifest your word through me. Mm. Come on, somebody, somebody didn't get that. Somebody didn't hear that. Somebody didn't hear that. Come on, come on, say, God, manifest your word through me. Come on, tell somebody. Come on, say that. Say that again. Say that again. You don't have to be a Christian for God's word to manifest through you. Say, God, manifest your word through me. Say, God, God, manifest your word. Through my family right now, right now, right now. I see where the devil is trying to trying to come in, but let your word manifest in my family life. Uh, let your let your word manifest in my in my workplace. Let your word manifest in my house. Let your word manifest in my yard. Let your word manifest wherever I go, whatever I lay my hands on. Let your word manifest. Yeah. Let your word manifest. I know they talk bad about me but I don't care I'm gonna allow your word to manifest in my life uh, because your word will become life uh, and it's gonna manifest in my life uh, and my life is gonna be a changed life uh, because it's your word of God that is manifesting through me in me around me uh, manifesting in my situation let your word manifest in my life God <laughs> Let your word manifest in my life. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Manifest, come on, manifestation time. I need to see results. I know the king of Persia and the queen of Persia is trying to stop my blessing, but I bind up the king of Persia. I go into the spiritual realm right now, and the king and queen and prince and princess of Persia have no power in me or over my life because God's word is manifesting in my life oh my god I feel God tonight I feel God tonight I feel God tonight I feel God tonight I feel God I feel that somebody's getting ready to get employment I feel that somebody's getting ready to get employment right now you're gonna get employment I open the windows of employment I speak Thus said the Lord that employment is over this house tonight. Grace, the grace of employment is over this house tonight. Those persons who refused you shall call you back. Somebody's going to... Hey, yeah, I speak employment. Exp employment. Employment. You better grab what's in the bucket. You better grab what's in the tray. You better grab what's in the box. You better grab it. If you need employment, say yes, God. Manifest, manifest, manifest employment. Manifest, manifest employment. Healing is in the house. Sharika, Sharika. Ah, manifestation of healing in the house tonight. Healing in the house. The Bible says death and life is in the power of your tongue. If you speak life, life is going to come. If you speak death, death is going to come. What is going on is that some persons are speaking life to some stuff that need to die some persons has been speaking life over situation that needs to die while some persons are speaking get over some stuff that need to live so I manifest I speak now in the realm of the spirit I speak healing healing manifestation healing manifestation somebody's son is in trouble i speak protection manifestation tonight protection manifestation somebody's daughter is in trouble she's at a home that she doesn't want to be and all kind of things start to break loose i speak protection manifestation protection manifestation i speak protection manifestation in somebody's home tonight somebody's daughter is in trouble no weapon that form against your daughter shall prosper and every tongue that rises against your daughter shall be condemned I break down the walls Lord God of witches and warlocks those spiritual wickedness in high and low places that is trying to set up against your daughter I cancel every wickedness against your daughter right now protection manifestation let your word manifest through my life in my life 
around my life in Jesus' name. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You better speak that word right now. You better speak that word over your life. A lot of you are in church for years and you're, you're still a babe. You're still creeping. I don't know. Some of you are going to church every day. Some of you go to church every Sunday, every Saturday, but yet still you're still creeping. You need to start walking, man. Walk on the faith. Walk on the word of God. A lot of you are, are, are still babe and you're going for church. You're going to church for, for, for years. A lot of you are under leadership that you shouldn't be under. Because you ain't growing. You ain't growing. You can't be going to a ministry for years and when you evaluate your Christian life, you, you, you're still a babe. The things that easily beset you are things that you should be standing on. How can you be correcting people when you don't get there yet? <laughs> you have some folks, even some pastors, they are correcting people and they don't get there yet. You cannot be, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, you have some leaders, you have some teachers, you have some parents. They are trying to correct you on something that they still struggling with. <laughs> How can you be correcting me on something when you are still struggling with it? So you, you need to ask God for revelation manifestation so God can reveal yourself. Mm to you so you know what to stop doing I want to speak to somebody tonight you're asking God for manifestation I need I need your word to be manifested through my life so I can know who I am in you and what you are what ma, 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 ma. I need to know what my directions are going to be I need manifestations Lord I've been praying for long I've been fasting for long I've been going to church all these years but I'm not seeing a divine manifestation I need to know what next month is going to be life. I need you to show me God. I, I don't need nobody to tell me. I need you to have a talk with me. How can I be manifested? How can how can I see what God has for me? You got to spend some time with God. You know what some of you do? You talk too much. A lot of you have been talking to the wrong set of people. The wrong set of folks. Your children are in trouble because you're speaking to the wrong set of people. Your family is in trouble because you're speaking to the wrong set of people. A lot of you start sleeping with the enemy. A lot of you are being around the enemy for too long. A lot of you are, 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 are sleeping with the enemy. You're, you're working with the enemy. You're, 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 you're nurturing the enemy. And if you nurture the enemy and feed the enemy, what's going to happen? The enemy is going to turn on you. <laughs> Somebody need that word. You need to understand. You can't feed the enemy. I'm sorry. You can't, you can't, you can't allow the enemy to get ammunition against you. The Bible says that there's a place and time for everything. Get in eagerly Ecclesiastes and you will understand that there's a time and place for everything. A lot of you have been feeding your enemies, giving them enough ammunition because you're opening your mouth and talking stuff that God told you to keep quiet with. Some of you are at the altar, you're shouting out stuff and the same brothers and sisters in church are speaking bad about you. They don't want you to see you prosper. You got to understand that the Bible says that God is about to visit the sanctuary first. The house of God is going to be visited first. The house of God is going to be judged first. So you got to understand that it's not everybody is going to be happy for you. Not you, your family. Not everybody in your family. Not every relative. Sometimes your own husband and wife is not happy for you. Sometimes your own children are fighting against you. Sometimes your own grandchildren are fighting against you. So you need to ask God to manifest let your word manifest in me so I can know what my next move is. The reason why a lot of you keep making the wrong, wrong, wrong move, wrong decisions, because you've been asking your brothers and your sisters and your neighbors where to go. You've been asking people, what is what you think I should do? Stop asking people what I should do and ask God. Why are you asking people what you should and shouldn't do? You need to ask God where I should go. You're making a decision. And instead of asking God, you're asking your neighbors. Instead of asking God, you're asking your pastor. Your pastor may not even know where he or she is going. How are they going to tell you where to go when they don't know where they're going either? Not because they're on a rostrum, that doesn't mean they know where they're going. 
you better ask God. Ask God what my next move should be like. Manifest where I should go. Manifest. A lot of you keep focusing on people and not on God. You got to ask God. Your relationship is not with people. Your relationship, the focus in having that relationship with God will help you to better deal with people. It's not the other way around. It's not about pleasing people so God can hear you. No. You better please God first. You please God first so that you can come in alignment with God's direction for your life and then God will connect you with the people that you're supposed to be with. Don't do the twist. Don't get connected with people first then expect God to turn things around. You got to get connected with God first. Get connected with who God is first. So God can direct you to the people that you need to be directed and connected with. A lot of people get things the wrong way. You're trying to connect with people first. No. Get close to God. The Bible says, if you stay in my secret place, my secret place is where I live. How do I, how do I get into a relationship with God? Psalm 91 said, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide where? In the shadow. Where is the shadow of Almighty God? Is that place where you commune with Him. How do I know who God is? By understanding Him through His Word, through prayer. Through fasting. How do I understand who God is? By abiding by his precepts. What do I mean? His rules or his laws. His guidelines for life. So stop trying to get so connected with people. And get connected with God. The reason why so many ministries are falling apart. People starting to praise their leaders. Stop trying to praise your pastor or your bishop or your or your or your overseer or your prophet. Praise God. Worship God. When you need to know where to go, look to God first. Stop trying to be your your, your leaders pleaser. So what I, how am I going to do that? I'm going to start asking God for manifestation. God, manifest my direction to me. What if my pastor is unable to see what I'm seeing? Or what do I need to be seen? What's going to happen? You need to ask God to manifest your word through my life so I can know what directions to take. I'm not saying that you're not going to talk to your leader at times, but trust God first. Trust God first. I need manifestation in my next move, God. Say, God, manifest your word through my life. Manifest your word through my life. Manifest your word in my family's life. I need manifestation, God. I need to know where the next move is going to be. How am I going to move? Where am I going to go? To whom am I going to go to? I need manifestation. If you can use anything, Lord, you can use me. <clears throat> if you can use anything, Lord, you can use me. Take my hands, Lord, and my feet. Take my ears, Lord, 
use me if you can use anything Lord please use me I sing it a little bit different if you can use anything Lord you can use me yeah yeah if you can use anything Lord please use me yeah. take my eyes Lord and my ears take my faith Lord use me if you can use anything Lord you can use me take my heart Lord and my feet take my mind Lord use me if you can use anything Lord you can use me that's the cry of our heart tonight use us God wherever we are manifest your word through me God manifest your word I need your word God I need I need that manifestation God I need the word to become life in my life so I can be a better person I cannot depend on people I need you I need your help I need your help because I've been trying a lot of churches I've been trying a lot of people but it ain't working they have failed me continuously God so I need your intervention I need your manifestation because when I hear from you I know it's you people will fail but your word you will never fail so I need your manifestation to know which moves to make because every time I get in the way I mess things up so I'm asking God right now come on go with me I need your manifestation God I need your word to manifest in my life so I can be the person who you would have me to be so I need manifestation tell somebody I need God to manifest his word in my life manifest your word God in my family's life manifest your word in my address Manifest your word wherever I go, mighty God. I need you to go before me and manifest your word. I need even where you're sending me. You're sending me to a new place, my God, and you have sent me into a place that is different. I don't know what they expect. I don't know what's going to happen where I go when I go there. So I'm asking you to go before me, mighty God, and to clear the path so I can walk in your footsteps. I don't know what's going to happen when I go tomorrow. I don't know what's going to happen when I go next week. I don't know what's going to happen when I go next month. But God, I know you can go before me because you are God and there's nothing that is impossible with you you are omniscient you are the omniscient God you are all powerful and there's nothing that is too hard for you go before me God and clear that path so I can walk freely manifest your word in my life I need your manifestation. I need I need your indwelling. I, I need God for you to show up and show off your glory because I can't do this on my own. Yes, it seems like I'm strong. It seems like I have got everything together. But God, I'm falling apart. I just can't let them know I'm burning up inside. I feel like I'm going to blow up. But God, I'm asking you to intervene, mighty God, because without you, I can't make it. I need your touch. I need you to manifest in my life. I need your manifestation. I can't do without it. God, I'm depending completely up on you. I need your manifestation, mighty God. I need you to have your way. God, I'm asking you to manifest healing in my life, God. Manifest healing. I don't know what's going on in me, but the doctors don't know either. But I need your manifestation. I need you to manifest your word in my life so I can give you all the glory, mighty God. I need healing manifestations, mighty God. I need employment manifestations, mighty God. I need you to open the windows of heaven and I need you to manifest your word in my life 
I cannot go another day without your manifestation. God, I don't know where I'm going. I need your direction. I need a direction manifestation so I can do what I'm supposed to do. I can go where I'm supposed to go, mighty God. I need your manifestation. I'm about to make some decisions, mighty God, and I, I really don't know if I'm going to make the right decisions. So I need God for you to help me make these decisions. Lord God, I'm asking you to roll back your tables and I'm asking you, mighty God, to manifest your works in my life. God, I need you. I need your manifestation. I need your manifestation, mighty God. I need your direction. I need your direction, mighty God. I need to know which other move to make. I cannot make another move and fail. I need your manifestation, mighty God. I, I need you. I need you. I can't do it alone. I've been trying on my own. Listen, I've been asking people that they don't know either. I've been asking some people that don't know that they don't know. Huh. Ah, and they've been telling me all kind of stuff. And they're afraid to tell me that they don't know. So I need your manifestation. I refuse to go another day listening to people that don't know that they don't know. God, I need your manifestation. I need you to show up and I need you to show off your glory. I need your help, mighty God. I can't do this on my own. God, I need a manifestation in my relationship. I need a manifestation at school. Mighty God, I need a manifestation in my marriage. God, I need a manifestation in my family's life. Mighty God, my family tree is breaking apart. I don't know what's going on with my children and my grandchildren and my family members on my mother's side is staring apart on my father's side is staring apart mighty God I need I need a manifestation I need you mighty God to show up and show off your glory because without you I can't do it mighty God I need a manifestation I'm supposed to be traveling to another country, mighty God, and I don't know where I'm going to. I don't know if it's going to work or God, I'm asking you to manifestation. Manifest. I'm asking you for manifestation in my travel. Manifestation in my travel, mighty God. I'm leaving from one place to the next. I don't know what's going to happen. But you know God because your word says that you know my beginning from my end. So I'm asking you mighty God if you see no if you know my beginning and you know my end. So God manifest through the process. You know my beginning. You know my end. Manifest through my process. I need your manifestation, mighty God. I need you to show up. I need you to show up and show off your glory in my life. I've been asking people for the wrong stuff. And I've been asking the wrong people for the right stuff. Watch this. You can ask for the right stuff from the wrong people. Stop asking for the right stuff from the wrong people. Because some people will give you the wrong stuff and because you're getting it, you think it's the right stuff. Some people don't even know what you're asking for. Because some people don't know that they don't know. Because they were taught by people who don't know. So it's a cycle of not knowing. So stop asking people for what only God can give. My help cometh from God who made heaven and earth. A lot of you have been asking people who can't make heaven and they can't make earth. A lot of you have been going to some people and spending your money with some folks who can't really help you. 
They say they can, but they can't help you. How about changing course? Change your course. Ask God. God will help you. God will help your children. God will help your family. Young man, God will help you. Young lady, God will help you. Richard, God will help you. Richard, God will help you. From the noon, you know who I'm speaking about, Richard. For you, I am praying. Please get your white glass of water. If you have olive oils to be consecrated, please get them. For you, I am praying. For you, I am praying. I'm praying. For you, for you, I am praying for you, I am praying for you, I am praying, I'm praying. For you, for you, I am praying. For you, I am praying. For you, I am praying. I'm praying for for you. I am praying for you. I am praying for you. I am praying. I'm praying for you. For you. I am. Praying for you, I am praying for you, I am praying, I'm praying, blessings Opal, blessings to you, for you, for you, I am Praying for you, I am praying healing in the name of Jesus for you. Healing, Jehovah Rapha, I am praying. Hey, hallelujah, I'm praying for you, for you, I am praying. For you, I am praying peace to those who need peace tonight. For you, I am praying. I'm praying for for you, healing to those who need healing. Jehovah Rapha, I am praying for you. I am praying for you from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. I speak inside and outside, internal and external organ, healing, healing manifestation for you. I am praying, Holy Ghost, show up for you. I am praying. Ebo shataya baba handaya, rebo shekendaya masatoya. For you, I am praying. 
Don't worry about the bystanders. Don't worry about the liar. Don't worry about those that are pointing fingers at you. Don't worry about those that are speaking badly about you in private. God is going to bless you in public when they talk a man of evil about you. God is going to bless you right before their faces for you. I am praying for you. I am praying for you. I am praying. I'm praying for you. Yende Boya Sayoy Yende Boya Sayoy Yende, come on, share this live as you go along. Come on, brother Steve. Boya Sayoy Yende Bosa Yayo Yende Boya Sayoy Get your white glass of water and your olive oil. We're going to consecrate them very soon. Yende Boya Sayoy Yende Boya Sayoy Yende Bosa Yende Boya Sayoy Yende Boya Sayoy Yende Boya Sayoy Yende Bosa Yayo Yende Boya Sayoy Yende Boya Sayoy Yende Boya Sayoy Yende Bosa Yende Boya Sayoy Yende Boya Sayoy Yende Boya Sayoy Yende Besa Yayo Yende Boya Sayo Yende Boya Sayo Yende Boya Say Yayo Yende Bosa Yayo Makoshe Amamasakosa Yende Boya say your healing manifestation. I speak. I feel healing moving through this this platform tonight. Hibo shata ya baba, sheke baba sato ya baha. Hibo sata ya baha da ya baba sata ya. Healing manifestation. Yende kibo bo sato baba hada. Whatever doctors are unable to do, Holy Ghost, Mighty God, we ask you to show up and to show off your glory. Heal your people tonight. Somebody needs peace. Mighty God, the whatever is going on in their mind, mighty God, Lord God, you are bigger than it. Healing manifestation, healing manifestation, healing manifestation in the name of Jesus. Heal the minds of your people, heal the bodies of your people, heal finances. Have your way, mighty God, tonight. Consecrate, Lord God, these water. Consecrate this water tonight. Mighty God, consecrate this water tonight. Consecrate this water. Let it be used for your kingdom. Heal God. Signs, wonders, and miracles. Salvation. Mighty God, we ask you, Lord God, that this will be consecrated, mighty God, for your glory and for your kingdom, mighty God. Consecrate, Lord God, the olive oil tonight. Lord God, consecrate the olive oils tonight. Healing, mighty God, deliverance, signs, wonders, mighty God, signs and wonders, miracles in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Somebody need to consecrate their water. Somebody need to pour the olive oil down their throat tonight. 
somebody needs a cleansing I come against cancer cells I bind up cancer cells right now I come against fibroid fibroid mighty God I bind up the spirit of joint problem joint I can speak healing healing in joint problem joint you're having joint joint pains in your spine joint pains I speak healing right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth healing in the name of Jesus Christ healing joint pains joint pains joint pains healing right now somebody needs healing somebody need to be delivered tonight from their past your past keep coming back to haunt you you cannot have a good relationship because every time you go into a relationship your past keeps messing it up I speak deliverance from your past you cannot have a good relationship because something keeps messing up your relationship every time you go in a relationship your past keeps coming back to haunt you you can't you can't even have a good relationship with your children because your past keeps coming back to haunt you you can't keep a job for more than six months or a year because there's something that keeps messing up your future which is your past I speak healing in your relationship healing in your relationships at home healing in your relationships in your communities healing in your relationship at church healing in your marriage relationship healing in your relationship with your children Healing in the name of Jesus. Healing in the name of Jesus. Healing in the name of Jesus. Confess this after me. Dear God, I receive my healing manifestation now in Jesus' name. Come and say that again. Dear God, I receive healing manifestation my healing my healing manifestation right now in Jesus' name Amen come on give the Lord a clap offering give the Lord a clap offering come on come on give the Lord a clap offering tonight give the Lord a clap offering tonight come on go ahead Go ahead and give the Lord a clap offering. Give the Lord a clap offering. Welcome, Sister Simone Campbell. I want to thank Sister Simone Campbell Reed and Brother Steve Reed for sharing the live. Keep sharing the live on this page. Keep sharing, keep sharing, keep sharing so some persons, some other persons can come on. Marcia Robbins, if you can share, share. Cheryl Williams, if you can share. Sky Edwards, send me a friend request for those of you that are watching me for the first time. Send me a friend request. I want to welcome you all to Three P's Prior Praise on the Prophetic with your man, servant, minister, and prophet Alan. Yours truly. We are here every Wednesday night at 9 p.m. on this page. Please go on my YouTube channel, Alwyn Allen Ministries. That's A L W Y N A L L E N Ministries. That's Alwyn Allen Ministries. Please go. On my YouTube channel, please share, like, and subscribe. Amen. Looking forward to hearing from you. For those of you who are watching me from different parts of the world, you might have gotten this live, you might have gotten this clip, this link, this video, and you want to get in touch with me, whether to give to the ministry or for counseling, whether you're a backslider or you're unsaved or you want to get deeper deeper depths in God and you want to talk to somebody you want to partner with this ministry every month or every week or every other week you want to be a part of our prayer support whatsapp group my whatsapp number you can whatsapp me or text me amen uh, you can whatsapp me or text me at one 
1-876-399-8255. So that's 1-876-399-8255. Looking forward to hearing from you. God is good. Amen. God is good. I want you to turn your Bibles to St. Matthew. Turn your Bibles to St. Matthew. I want to I wanna say happy birthday to all those who are celebrating birthdays during this week. And those who are celebrating anniversaries this week. Amen. I just want to say happy anniversary and happy birthday to anybody who is celebrating birthdays or anniversary um, this week. Amen. I just want to say happy, happy birthday. And may the Lord continue to bless you. Uh, blessings to... Brother Georgie, Uncle George, Uncle Georgie, his birthday was on Friday, was it Friday? Nikki, was it Friday, Aunt Sonia? Big up to you again, Uncle Georgie. Your birthday was on Friday, happy birthday, may God. Continue to bless anybody else that is celebrating birthdays. I just want to say happy, happy birthday, and may God continue to bless you. Um, for those of you who are celebrating anniversary, wedding anniversary, I want to say happy anniversary and I pray that God will continue to strengthen your marriage and that you will continue to seek God more. For those of you who are celebrating Christian birthdays when you got saved or Christian anniversary, I want to say happy Christian anniversary, happy birthday anniversary. Amen. Just be blessed and just make the Lord, let, the, let God continue to, to, to be in your life. Amen. And let God continue to do His work. Don't forget who you are in God. Amen. Don't forget who you are in God. God is awesome. God is awesome. Amen. I want you to turn your Bibles to... St. Matthew... 5 and we're going to really read from verse we're going to stop at verse 6 but I want us to read from verse 1 so we are at St. Matthew 5 reading from verse 1 to 6 it says when Jesus saw the crowds he went up on the side of a mountain and sat down Jesus' disciples gathered around him and he taught them. God blesses those people who depend only on him. They belong to the kingdom of heaven. God blesses those people who grieve. They will find comfort. Verse 5, God blesses those people who are humble. The earth will belong to them. Come on now. Verse 6, and we're going to be stopping at verse 6. God blesses those people. Come on now. God blesses those people who want to obey Him. More than to eat and drink, they will be given 
what they want. So we read from Matthew 5 and you read from 1 to 6. Verse 6 says, God blesses those people who want to obey Him more than to eat or drink. They will be given what they want. Father, thank you for your word. Let your word become flesh and dwell amongst us tonight. If you want to sow a seed right now, just WhatsApp me and say, Prophet, I'm going to sow a seed. How can I sow a seed? You feel that this word is yours tonight? Just WhatsApp me at 1-876-399-8255 and say, Man of God, I'm going to sow a seed on this word. Or, Man of God, how can I partner with your ministry? I want to partner with your ministry. Whether you're overseas or you're in Jamaica, my WhatsApp number is one 876 399-8255 Blessing Shelly and Small Blessings to you So if you want to sow a seed Or you want to Partner with this ministry Just WhatsApp me right now And say man I got I want to plant a seed I want to I want to partner with your ministry How can I partner with your ministry How can I sow a seed WhatsApp me right now one 876 399-8255 Again, that's one 877 Matthew 5 verse 6 Says in some Translation Blessed Are those Who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. I don't know what it is that you are hungry and thirsting for, but my Bible says that God is about to bless those who are hungry and thirsty for righteousness. <laughs> Lord God, Lord God, Lord God, Lord God. The Bible says that God is about to satisfy those folks who are hungry and thirsty for righteousness. So listen. If you are hungry and thirsting for evil, that is what's going to get you. <laughs> the Bible says, whatever you sow, so shall you reap. So if you are going to be hungry and you're going to want to be thirsty for the things of God, you shall be satisfied. But there's another way around. The Bible says, so shall you so, so shall you reap. So if you are hungry and thirsty for evil, that is what you're going to get. So for those persons who are thirsty and hungry for the things of God, God is going to satisfy your need. Come on, somebody need to say, God, that's me. That's me. I, I want more of you and less of me. I want so much more of you and less of me. I want more of you, God. I, I, I'm tired of doing the things my way because every time I do the things my way ah, I get in the way So I need more of you ah, I need more of you so my husband can get saved Somebody needs to say that I need more of you so my wife can get saved Somebody needs to tell God ah, ah, I'm doing the things that I'm not supposed to do I need more of you God So people around me can get saved 
The Bible says, let your light shine. What type of light? The light that you have in you. If you have no light, then nothing going to shine. If you have no light, if you're around darkness, you're going to be around darkness. If you're in darkness and you are not light, you're going to remain in the darkness. So the Bible says, let my light, my light. If my light is not connected to the source, which is God, what is going to shine? So I need your light so I can shine. The Bible says if I'm hungry and thirsty for righteousness, I will be filled. Not only will I be filled, some translation says that you, God is about to bless me. Come on, watch this. God is about to bless me when I'm hungry and thirsting of His stuff. Some people try to try to bad mind you for what you got, and they don't even understand that you didn't get your anointing that way. Come on, come on, come on, Latoya. Come on, Sister Latoya. They want to fight you over what you got. They don't understand that it took years of prayer, years of fasting. Come on, come on. Someone need to get that. Excuse me. Come on. Tell the devil, excuse me and let me pass. Because you don't know, like I know, what God has brought me through. You see me shine. You don't know what my shouting means. You don't know how many years I've been shouting like this. You don't know how many years my family has been apart. And it's because of the hunger and the thirst that I have for God. Why God is showing up in me right now. You see me driving. You don't know how many years I was walking before Lord God bless me. Some people see you with your stuff and they don't know how you got your stuff. If it had not been for God on my side, where would I have been? It's not just getting it. It's the process. God knows my beginning from my end. God knows my beginning from my ending. What God is saying, He's going to trust you with the process. Tell God, I, I, I help me to go through my process because you know my beginning from my ending. Some people don't want to trust God. They want to just have stuff. But you better trust God with what you have because if you don't trust God, I don't know who else you're going to trust. You better trust God. God with your beginning, your process, and your ending. So if God knows my beginning from my end, that means God knows my process. And I got to trust God with what I have. A lot of folks been trying to trust people. People won't give you what you have. God uses people to bless you with what you have. But the Bible says, my help. I will look unto the hills. From whence cometh my help. My help comes from heaven and earth. What is God saying? Everything that was created was created by me. Go back to Genesis. When, so, when somebody talks about the Genesis of something, Genesis is talking about the beginning, the scientific makeup of something. The foundation, the development. So in Genesis, we would have seen that God created the heavens and the earth. God created everything on earth, in earth, for us to use. So if my help comes from God, who made heavens and earth, 
There's no way I'm going to trust anybody first. Watch this. I said it earlier. A lot of you are asking for the right things from the wrong people. A lot of you are looking in the wrong places for the right things. So you're, you want a husband or you want a wife, but yet still you're looking for a husband and a wife in places that don't want to be married. You have some men and some women, they want to live carelessly for the rest of their lives, even in church. They don't want to get married. So stop looking for the right things in some of the wrong places. Then you have some folks who want to get married and they are in the right place but the right folks aren't there. Not everybody that goes to church on Saturdays and Sundays are going there for the right reasons. So you find yourself asking, why can't I find a man or a woman in church? Because not everybody goes to church for the right things, for the same things. So you got to ask God because your help comes from God who made heaven and earth. So God will give you a man or a woman from somewhere that you were never looking to find that man or that woman because you asked God. Stop asking your bishop or your pastor or your apostle or your prophet for things that you should be asking God for. You should be asking God for stuff, not people. Not everybody's going to help you for your new job. Sharon. Sharon Williams. Not everybody's going to help you for what God has given to you. But they didn't give it to you. It was God. So if they're not happy for you, it doesn't matter. Because our help, my help, your help, our help comes from God who made heaven and earth. Go back to Genesis. God made heaven and earth. And Psalm 121 will remind you of what Genesis is saying. That our help, my help, your help cometh from God. So you don't worry about what people are saying. People are going to always talking about you. People are going to always try to psychoanalyze you, especially when they don't like what God is doing in your life. I, 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 from the other day I've been saying, I don't even care what you want to say about me anymore because God got me. Come on, tell somebody, God got me where he wants me. God is taking care of me. And because God is taking care of me, I'm trusting God during the process. Because my help coming from God, He's taking care of me. And He's going to send help. God is helping me right now. Because God knows my, my beginning from my end. And I'm going to trust God with the process. Come on, Odette. God knows my beginning from my end. So because God knows my beginning from my end, I'm going to trust God with the process. Ah, I'm not going to give up when things start looking crazy. I'm going to trust God. I'm going to trust God with the process. I'm not going to give up. God's got me right where he wants me and God is going to take care of me even if God doesn't come true at my timing I know God is going to come true because a day and a year come on let me say this the other way a year to us 
is seconds and day to God. Somebody never get that. A year to us is just a day in the sight of God. So I'm going to trust God during the process. The Bible says that he who is hungry and thirsty for righteousness, they shall be filled. They shall be satisfied. So whatever you're hungry for, God's going to fill you up. God's going to fill you up so good that you're going to forget that you had a need. Because when we are filled up with God, and that is what I keep saying, whenever I feel like my grace is running out, I'll sing this song. Fill my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench this testing of my soul. Bread of heaven. Until I want no more Fill my cup Fill it up And make me whole Fill my cup, Lord I lift it up, Lord Come and quench the thirsting of my my soul. Bread of heaven, come feed me until I want no more. Fill my cup, fill it up, and make me whole. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whatever you're hungry for, you're going to be filled. Matthew 5 verse 6 Blessed are those who hungry and thirst for righteousness for they shall be satisfied. What or who are you thirsty or hungry for? Because whatever it is that you are hungry for or thirsty for, you shall be filled. If it's not for God and it's for the things of the world, you shall be satisfied. So if you are hungry and thirsty for ungodly things, that's what you're going to get. Because it's a formula to the universe. Whatever you sow, so shall you reap. So if you are not hungry and thirsty for the things of God, whatever it is that you're hungry and thirsty for, that is what you're going to get. So if you sow seed, 
Or if you're hungry and thirsty for things that are unrighteous, that's what you're going to get. If you're looking for happiness, that's what you're going to find. People who pursue the things of God will get the things of God in their manifestation. So you'll find some people that they keep going around doing the bad stuff. They keep going around doing the wrong stuff. But when they get the wrong stuff, they keep asking God and asking people, why is it that all I'm getting is negative stuff? But if you sow negative stuff, that's what you're going to reap. So if you keep looking for things that are not right, that's what you're going to get. So if you're hungry and you're thirsty for the things of God, that is what you're going to reap. That's what you're going to be blessed with. But if you keep doing the things and keep sowing the things and keep murmuring and complaining and, and, and getting your eyes into things that you shouldn't be seeing, your feet going places where you shouldn't be going, your heart is in things that your heart should not be in things, that's what's going to be manifested. So if you start sowing negative seeds, that's what you're going to reap. I beg somebody to tell God that I need a cleansing. I beg somebody to say, God, I need a cleansing. I need to start sowing some good seeds so I can reap positive manifestation. What or who are you hungry and thirsty for? Because whatever you're hungry for, that's what you're going to get. Whatever you're thirsty for, that's what you're going to get. Ah, the Bible says if you don't work. The Bible said by the sweat of your brow you eat. What God is saying, so if you don't work, you shouldn't eat. What you sow, you reap. What are you hungry for? What are you thirsty for? A lot of you are thirsty for the wrong things. And when you get the wrong things, you're crying and running all over the place. You're sowing all kind of negative seeds. And when you get negative results you're murmuring your children going all different places doing all different type of stuff and when they get negative results some of you are the same ones that say people don't like your children and your grandchildren but it's because of the things that you've been speaking out of your mouth what it is that you're hungry for what is it that you're thirsty for? If you're thirsty for the wrong stuff, the wrong stuff you're going to get. If you're hungry for the wrong stuff, a lot of you are calling negative stuff into your system. You're pulling things down that are negative. You're pulling things down that are negative. And when you get negative results, then you murmur. You better start being hungry and thirsty for the right stuff. Because if you're hungry and thirsty for righteous stuff, those are the things that's going to fill you up. Everyone looking for happiness will pursue it. You got to ask God to help you to pursue what He got for you. A lot of people keep going wayward. You need to understand if you don't get yourself into a place. And that is a mental mindset. If you don't tell yourself that you can do it, you'll never do it. A lot of people have spoken so many negative stuff over your life that you begin to believe it. So what you start doing, you start being hungry and you start thirsting after people's stuff. You got you gotta understand that you better you better you better start being hungry and thirsty of stuff that God has for you. 
How do I know what God's got for me? I got to be in a relationship that I start being thirsty after righteousness. You will never know what God's got for you if you're in an unrighteous place. If you're around unrighteous folks. The reason why some people can never be blessed because they are sowing seeds of unrighteousness. They are hungry and thirsty for unrighteousness. If you keep speaking on unrighteous stuff, if you keep speaking on righteous words, that's what you're going to sow. Words are seeds. You got to stop being connected to some righteous things. Some righteous friends. Some people that are going to speak positive things in your life. If every day you see it sitting and talking with people who don't even want to go anywhere, you're going to start feeling like them. You're going to start smelling like them. You're going to start acting like them. And when you start reaping the negative stuff, you're going to murmur like them. But you got to change course. You got to start being around people that are going to help you to be thirsty and hungry for the things of God. Because it's only God is going to help you to your next level. Not man, not woman, not your pastor, not your bishop, not your politician. Only God. Help me mighty God to be hungry and thirsty for righteousness, righteous living. God, I don't know how to fast, but help me to fast, my God. I need, a, I need to learn how to fast. God, I don't know how to pray. Every time I begin to pray, I keep saying the same thing. Help me to give me that hunger and that thirst for prayer. Mighty God, I don't know how to, how to read your word. Every time I get into your word, I want to sleep. Mighty God, give me that hunger and that thirst for your word. God, I don't know how to give. I want to fast. I want to sow a seed. I want to partner with the ministry. God, I don't know how to do it. Give me that hunger. Give me that hunger and that thirst how to give to the ministry. Teach me how to do that. Because your word declares over my life that if I'm hungry and I'm thirsty for the things of God, I shall be satisfied. What or who are you hungry and thirsty for? Because whatever it is that you're hungry and thirsty for, you shall be filled. Have you ever gotten hungry? When you look at your hungry scale, when you're hungry, sometimes it's something that causes the hunger. Some people get hungry because they never ate the night before. Some people get hungry when they see food. When you see somebody else eating. Some people get hungry because they have worm. They need a wash out. Everything that you eat, the worm eat with you. Some people get hungry and have nothing to eat. Have you ever been thirsty? I don't know if you have ever been thirsty and you drink juice, but then you still got to go and get water. I've been thirsty. A lot of times and I go and have juice or drink but then I still got to go and get some water what am I saying not everything can fill your thirst not everyone can fill your thirst some people will give you what they think can feel your thirst and instead you still are not satisfied not everything or everyone can give you the food so that you're not hungry anymore 
There are some folks that will never fill the void of hunger and thirst in your life. What am I saying? Only God can fill that hunger and thirst. It's only when you put your hands in the hand of God that He will be able to give you that satisfaction for that thirst and that hunger. Not everybody can fill that hunger. Not everybody can fill that thirst. Some people will pretend to help you, but they can only help you to a point. Only God can fill that spot. Have you ever been hungry? And when you eat that food, you're like, hmm, that fill that spot. Only God can. What it's like, your appetite? What's your appetite like? I'm not talking about your physical appetite only. What's your eating habit like? So I'm looking at your physical appetite and I'm looking at your spiritual appetite tonight. What it is that you're doing. So when you eat the stuff in your physical appetite that are not good for you, it makes you overweight, it makes you get sick. So we're looking at your physical appetite. So when you eat the stuff that are not good for you, you're going to get sick. You might start feeling all kind of illness. Some people eat the wrong stuff and they, they become diabetic or they become all, all kind of things that are happening to them. It's the same stuff on the spiritual side. Your spiritual appetite. So it's your physical appetite versus your spiritual appetite. When you're not building your spirit man and building your flesh, the gossip, the murmuring, the hate, the biting, the negatives. You can't grow in righteousness. So your, your physical appetite versus your spiritual appetite, you got to make sure that you feed your body so your spiritual appetite can be strong. So if you feed your spiritual appetite on God's word, righteousness living, giving, Tithing, sowing seeds, partnering with ministries or a ministry, hoping that you partner with us, then God will bless you in a different way. So just as when you eat right, drink right, your body produces antibodies that are going to help you to fight off things So when anything comes into your system, those, 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 those things that you're eating, like your greens and your vegetables, you're drinking a lot of water, those things are going to help you so that you can be strong. It's the same with your spiritual appetite. Prayer. Fasting. Doing the right things, listening to the right folks, making the right decisions. Don't go to church and, 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 and be around the wrong folks because you have some gossipers in church too. You have some people that come in the church, they don't want to go nowhere. Get with a prayer group that's really praying. Be a part of the choir. Or be a part of the, the, the group that goes and feed the poor. You're talking about building your spirit man. Be a part of the Bible study. Learn God's word more. 
building the spirit man getting your spiritual appetite up you be in control what the Bible says the Bible says in my translation Matthew 5 verse 6 it says God blesses those people who want to obey him more than to eat and drink they will be given what they want so when you do what God says you're to do God will grant you your heart's desire have you ever thought about it the reason why God has not been blessing you is because you are out of integrity you are not doing what God says you want God to bless you but you don't want the oh my God you want the blessing but you don't want the blesser you don't want to you don't want to do what God says you want to get your spiritual appetite and live anyhow do anything but then you want the blessing you cannot receive the righteousness of God without applying righteousness works you got to apply righteousness liberty for you to get the results of righteousness you cannot want the blessing, but you don't want to have nothing to do with who is giving you the blessing. A lot of you want the husband, or the man to be your husband, but you don't want to have nothing to do with his kids. A lot of you want the woman to be your wife, but you do not want to, to know her family, or want to know her, her kids. So your spiritual appetite is just as important as your physical appetite just like how you need to eat the right food you need to pray the right prayer just like how you need to drink water you need to make sure that you're connected to the Holy Spirit you gotta make sure that you're fasting make sure that you're tithing make sure that you're giving make sure that you're forgiving even though it's hard to forgive some folks ask God to help you to forgive After you move to your appetite, both physical and spiritual, we're going to look at your attribute. What am I talking about when I talk about your attributes? Your characteristics, your, your value system, your morale. How do you behave? What are the things that are connected to you? How do you act? Are you only a church pleaser? You only live righteous in church? You only speak good stuff in church, but when you go outside, you curse bad word. When you look at your in-church attributes and your out-of-church attributes, they don't connect so you act holy at church but when you're not at church you act anyhow so your attributes at church looks righteous but how you act outside of church people wonder if you know God your attributes should lead to righteous liberty in church at home at work in your community wherever you go you cannot only act righteousness or righteous living at church in church but when you leave church you're a total different person your husband will not be saved based on how you live your children will not be saved based on how you live how do I have godly attributes it's when I live for God, not only in church, but I'm living for God at work. I'm living for God at the wholesale. I'm living for God when I go do my hair or you go do your nails. I'm living for God in my community, at my home, in my marriage, in my relationships. My ways should be righteous. I should have the fruits of the Spirit. I should be kind, I should be loving, I should be forgiving. God is not calling you to allow people to manipulate and use you, but you still should have a heart like Christ. You know, there are times when I get upset 
and I'm really upset. And I've been saying, I'm not going to do this for somebody. I'm not going to help that person again. And a couple minutes or a couple hours or the next day, because my attributes should measure to who God says I am, I'm going to just help the same person who I said I wouldn't help. I'm going to help. Because when you have the mind of Christ, you're going to help. When you have the mind of Christ, Jordan, Yancey, you can send me a friend request. Jordan, Yancey, good to see you. When you have the mind of Christ, you're going to help people. You're not going to live for yourself. When you have the attributes, you're going to help people. Even when they abuse you. Even when they say all manner of evil against you. You're going to get upset. But when you calm down, people should still see God in you. They should still hear God in you. The Bible says you can get angry, but say not. So your attributes should always be constant. So you should still have a prayer mode when things go bad at home. Some people pray so loud at church, but nobody can hear them pray at home. So you only pray at church. Some of you only speak in tongues when you're in church. But nobody ever hear you speak in tongues at home. Because you're living two lives. I always say, three, four face on the one cap. Your attributes, you're a different person at work. You're a different person at church. You're a different person at home. Your attributes should be connected. You should be the same person living for God at home as at church. When you go to the wholesale, you don't go be cursing bad words. I always say to people who drive, I was driving the other day and people bad drive me. And I didn't curse bad word. I didn't want to curse. You have some Christians, you don't know that they are Christians when they're driving. Because them curse are one bad word or a two bad word and, and, and they don't even care. How can you be a Christian and still cursing bad word when somebody bad drive you? I get upset and want to cuss and want, I want to come out of the car and fight. Where is grace? Where is patience? You need to be the Christ-like person at church, at home, at, 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 in, in, at work. When you go to whole seal, when you go to your nails, when you put on the eyelash them. Don't atone. The persons who are doing your eyelash should know see a God you are saying. Someone who put on the eyelash and the eyelash are doing the eyelash for do and you not do what you for do. You just come out of church but you are cussed by the word. Your neighbors don't know see a God you say. Your attributes not in the place where you're supposed to be. The Bible says you have a form of godliness, but deny the power thereof. You have to have that attribute of righteousness, not only in church, but wherever you go. I'm not going to get a lot of forward and amen for this, because a lot of you living that life. You're Christians on Sundays, but on Mondays and Tuesdays and Wednesdays and Thursdays, Fridays and Saturdays, you're living for the devil. Your attributes should be constant. You should wear the clothing of faith, the clothing of peace, the clothing of love. I'm not telling you to allow people to walk over you and use you and abuse you. No, that's a different context. But you know what I'm talking about. God never called you to be a stupid or to be a fool for people. 
But just like how you can live for God in church, live for God at home. Let your attributes be righteous at home, at work, at play. A lot of you are in church and you're settling for less. You're doing all manner of evil. Saturday night, but Sunday you're ready for church. You're doing all manner of evil Friday night, but then Saturday you're ready for church. You got to be ready for church every day, baby. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So we looked at your physical and your spiritual appetite. Then you look at your attribute for righteousness. And thirdly, we're going to look at abundance. The Bible says that he who hungers and thirsts for righteousness shall be satisfied. Satisfied means fulfillment. It means that void is no more. Abundance mean an overflow you're going to be filled up when you're when you when, when you're hungry and you thirst for righteousness for the things of God God is going to give you all that you want all that you need when the devil says no God is going to say yes what the devil would have meant for evil because you are doing the right things. You're going to reap the right stuff. You're going to be filled up. On the reverse, if you're doing the wrong stuff, you're going to be filled up with evil. Have you ever seen some folks, it's like they're at a level of no return. Have you ever seen some stuff on some folks? They are so evil in their ways that you're saying to yourself, how could somebody become so evil? Especially to those that you have been good to. You know, I'm not leaving that out. The Bible says ungratefulness is worse than witchcraft. Your enemies do you nothing bad because they don't know nothing about you. The people who do you bad are those that are around you. Who knows your business. Who knows your stuff. So, the Bible says that if you're hungry and you're thirsty for the right stuff, you shall be filled up. You shall have more than enough. That's the reason why when God is blessing us, some people begin to talk about you're in drugs. Or, Listen, you haven't seen anything yet. God is about to bless us with abundance. God is going to connect us to our destiny helpers. I'm talking about overflow. Lawyers, doctors, prince, princess, king, queens. The Bible says that when your ways please God, even your enemy, be at peace with you. The Bible says that he has given you gifts. That will make room for you. And he has given you power. To get wealth. All that you need. Is in the hungry. Is in the hunger and the thirst for righteousness. So if you ever need anything from God. Or want anything from God. Start living right. Start speaking right. Start thinking right. Because if you do the right things, you will reap the right stuff. If you do the wrong things, you're going to get wrong results. There's no two way about it. Do the right things and you're going to get the right stuff. Do, go the, if you go the wrong places, you're going to get some stuff acting and taking on to you. You better start connecting to the right set of folks. If you're around wrong people, you're going to get wrong results. If you speak negative stuff, that's what you're going to get. What you speak, your soul shall you have. The Bible says death and life is in 
your tongue. If you begin to speak the wrong things, that's what you're going to get. If you're around the wrong people, you're going to get the wrong stuff. If you sow the wrong seeds, you're going to reap the wrong stuff. Get your spiritual appetite right. Get the attribute of Christ, the mind of Christ, the heart of Christ. Not only trying to live a Christian life in church, the best life you can ever live for God is outside of the walls of the building. The best evangelism is you and I. And after you'd have gotten the attribute of Christ and the appetite of Christ, that spiritual appetite, then you will come into abundance. God will fill you up. So all those voids that been lacking, when you start doing the things of God, God is going to start filling each cup. So you won't have to need to ask anybody for anything. The Bible says before we ask, He know it. So when you do what you're supposed to do, God is going to open the windows of heaven. And He's going to bless you in areas where you never thought that you would have been blessed. When your ways please God, God is going to open doors of abundance. He's going to satisfy you. He's going to give you all that you need. Do the right things. Start being around the right people. Say the right things. Think the right things. And you shall be filled. You shall be filled. Just give the Lord a clap of him tonight. Give the Lord a clap of him tonight. Come on, tell God thank you. Tell God to fill me up. Say, God, fill me up. Tell God, fill me up. Fill me up, God. Fill me up, God. Tell God, fill me up. Every void that is in my life, fill me up. Here it is. A word of knowledge for somebody. If, if you have gotten some stuff from some people to wear, that you know is unrighteous don't wear them anymore if, if, if you went to somewhere and they gave you some stuff to wear and tell you that you need to come back with it for it to be loaded don't wear it anymore because you're going to have to wear it for the rest of your life and you're going to have to be paying for that with God all things are possible if you do the right thing if you are hungry and thirsty for righteousness God will fill you up you don't need to wear anything God is your protection God is your protection you don't need to be wearing anything that that man or that woman gave you God is your protection, young man young lady God is your protection you don't need to take no pills God is going to heal you. You're watching this live for the first time. Send me a friend request. You're unsaved and you want to give yourself, your heart to the Lord. Say this prayer with me in a moment. I need five persons to WhatsApp me right now and say, Prophet, I'm going to sow a seed on this word tonight. I need to sow a seed on this word for my family. I need to sow a seed on this word tonight. As a matter of fact, I am going to sow a seed on this word tonight for my family. Hallelujah. I don't know if, if, if you want to sow a seed on this word, but I'm going to sow a seed on this word tonight for my family. I'm going to, I'm, it's going to begin with me. 
I'm going to sow a seed on this word for my family tonight. I'm going to sow a seed on this word. I'm sowing a thousand dollar seed on this word tonight. On this word. I'm going to sow a thousand dollar seed on this word tonight. I don't know who else want to sow a seed on this word tonight. This is a thousand Jamaican dollars and I'm sowing a thousand Jamaican dollars on this word tonight. And I'm putting it in my Bible. I'm sowing a thousand dollar seed on this word tonight. Anybody else who wants to sow a seed on this word tonight, please WhatsApp me right now and say, Man of God, I'm going to sow a seed on this word tonight. I'm going to sow a seed on this word tonight. You're watching me whether you're overseas or in Jamaica and you want to sow a seed on this word tonight. Just say, Prophet, I want to sow a seed on this word for my family, for my business, for my marriage. I want to be credited to those of you who have who have sowed seeds already and 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 and, and, and partner with this ministry I decree and I declare that the hand of God in the realm of the spirit right now I decree and I declare that no weapon that form against you and your family shall prosper. I declare and declare that everything that you're asking God for shall be granted unto you in Jesus' name. No weapon that form against you and your family shall prosper. You want to sow a seed on this word tonight. You want to partner with this ministry, whether weekly, monthly, or every two weeks. WhatsApp me right now at 1-876-399-8255. 1-876-399-8255. Come on now. WhatsApp me right now. one 876 Three nine nine eight two five five. If you're watching me for the first time, send me a friend request. If you need counseling or you know somebody who does, WhatsApp me. Let us schedule a counseling time. Whether you're overseas or in Jamaica, anybody. I don't care whether you're bi, straight, gay, bad, good. God loves you. What God doesn't love is the sin. You need somebody to talk with who is not going to judge you, just WhatsApp me at 1-876-399-8255. Please share this live with somebody right now. Go on my YouTube channel and watch my lives. Watch my product. Share them, like them, and subscribe. It's Alwyn Allen Ministries. That's A-L-W-Y-N-A-L-L-E-N. -L -L -E so my, my, my YouTube channel... Alwyn Allen Ministries. Ministries. Please watch my live. Please watch all my products. Share them, watch them, like them, and subscribe to my channel. Send them out. Amen. If you're watching me and you want to be a part of our prayer support WhatsApp group, just WhatsApp me at 1-876-399-8255. That's 1-876-399-8255. And say, Prophet, I want to be a part of your prayer support WhatsApp group. Amen. I just want to say God is good. Thank you so much. Odette, I'm so happy to see you on. Amen. God be praised. Opal, watching me for the first time from Old Arbor. God be praised. Bless you, sister. You heated me up today. Somebody sent Opal my, my, my link. Or she also watched me. And Sheena Power Talk. Sheena Girl, blessing to you on your ministry. Pastor Samantha Thompson, blessing to you. May God continue to bless you and the works that God has been doing through you. Amen. May God continue to bless you and your ministry. I want to big up and bless every ministry watching me here tonight. I pray that God continue to bless you and your house of faith. Your household of faith. Amen. I pray that God will bless you up. And hold up your hands in this time. You want to accept the Lord as your personal Lord and Savior. Please say this prayer with me. 
their God come into my life, creating me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me. Father God, I'm asking you to forgive me of my sins. Thank you for sending your Son, Jesus Christ, to die for my sins. Teach me your words. Help me to be who I'm supposed to be, God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you said that prayer, you are now a part of the family of God. Go to a church that preach the word of God. Go to a church that preach God words and teach God words. Get baptized. Do some counseling, some baptismal counseling. I, I prefer for you to do some baptismal counseling before you get baptized. And get involved in some auxiliary. If you don't have a ministry, if you don't have a ministry, just WhatsApp me and say, Man of God, I want to be a part of your ministry so we can start our baptismal classes and then you can get baptized. We have five auxiliaries. So we have the feeding ministry that we do on Monday. We have the youth arm where we help and take back the young men from the dance. Then we have the prison ministry where we help the young men and boys in prison so that when they come out of prison and rehab, they have godly people to be around. Then we also have the shut-ins, the old folks, the older people because they are very important to us as well. We help them with food, we help them with all kind of stuff. As a matter of fact, it is six outreaches. We also have the door-to-door. -door. The, 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 the elderly, the shut-in ministries where we help them with, with, with glucina and ensure and pampers. Amen? And we also have the door-to-door. -door. I need to write these down because I don't, need, I, I don't want to forget. We have the door-to-door -door where we go to your house. If you want us to come to your house to do a prayer meeting, we can schedule that. Because the family that prays together, we need to break some church, some, some curses, even some church curses. Because some church people bring curse and speak curse over your life. We break curses right now. And we also have our recent ministry, which is the school outreach, that we're going to be going into schools, preaching, teaching, and praying for people, doing devotionals. Amen. So if you want to give to this ministry, if you want to give to this ministry, I want to partner with us every month. We need some partners. We need some supporters every month. It doesn't matter how small it is. I just told you, I saw a seed on this word tonight. A thousand dollars. I need five persons to WhatsApp me and say, Man of God, I am going to sow a seed on this word tonight. I want to be a partner with this ministry every month or every week or every other week. If you are one of those persons, WhatsApp me right now. Right, right now or after I come off this live, WhatsApp me. WhatsApp me and say, Man of God, I want to partner with this ministry. I want to give. I want to sow a seed. How can I do that? WhatsApp me at one 876 399-8255 that's 1-876-399-8255 you need prayer whatsapp you want to be a part of our prayer support whatsapp group where we pray and build up the body of Christ we build and live as a family whatsapp me and say man of God I would love to be a part of your prayer support whatsapp group amen so we need some tithers you want to tithe in this ministry you want to partner with us you want to sow a seed WhatsApp me right now at 1-876-399-8255. Looking forward to hearing from you. Let's pray. Father God, I want to thank you for your healing tonight. I want to thank you for your word. I want to thank you for your deliverance. Lord God, I know you're giving peace to those who need peace tonight. Mighty God, somebody's going to get this live and their life is never going to be the same. How so salvation? 
workplace salvation mighty God I declare and I declare even now mighty God that demons will tremble I cast out every demonic force any demon that is trying to live in somebody's life tonight you are in the wrong house I cast out demons tonight you demon of darkness I command you to take that life Abu Shato Yababa take that life take that life take that life away from where you want it to go and give it back to God let go of that man let go of that woman let go of that boy that girl now I speak complete surrender you demon of darkness surrender yourself give up ghosts of wickedness you demon of darkness I command you right now to take your flight I speak healing over your people tonight I speak deliverance those who have accepted you as the personal Lord and Savior let not the enemy steal that word from them Father God, I speak deliverance in your homes, your children's homes, your remand center, the prisons, the hospitals, locally and the, oh my God, and internationally. Mighty God, I, I, I speak deliverance in House of Jamaica, Jamaica House, PMP, JLP. I speak deliverance in the ministries, in the communities. Mighty God, I'm asking you to walk through and have your way because you are God. Heal your people, Lord. Mistrain, sow a seed on this word tonight. Mistrain, sow a seed on this word tonight. Judith Enriquez, sow a seed on this word. What's up, man? Say, man of God, how can I sow a seed? How can I sow a seed? Kirk, sow a seed on this word tonight. Bless your vehicle. I pray that God will bless your vehicle that you've got. I pray that God will cover your vehicle, cover your daughter. In Jesus' name. What's up, man? Say, man of God, how can I sow a seed on this word tonight? How can I be a partner? I need, a, I need some partners every month. I need some monthly partners to help us with the work that we're doing. We need some funders. We need some givers. Amen? Some donors. If you're so inclined and you want to partner with us or tied in this ministry, that's what's up, me. Whether you're locally or, over, or, or overseas, say, man of God, prophet, how can I partner? How can I sow a seed? How can I give? What's at me right now? 1-876-399-8255 If you know somebody who needs counseling, what's at me? 1-876-399-8255 Very soon we're going to be having our Bible study coming up. Our Bible studies and prayer meeting is going to be once per week. As soon as that date is given, we're going to be having it sometime on Zoom and sometime on Google Meet. Amen. So look out for it coming soon. Bible study and prayer meeting once per week. Amen. Just keep blessing up yourself. Keep sharing the life. I'm looking forward for you to share this live with your friends, your church friends, your church WhatsApp groups, your different ministries. Share it. Amen. Want to get in touch with the prophet? I'm available to come to your church for ministry or for teaching or for speaking engagements. You're getting married or you're having a baby shower. You want me to be your guest speaker at a graduation, locally or internationally. Come and preach or teach. Ministry. WhatsApp me at 1-876-399-8255. 1-876-399-8255 Have a blessed night or whenever this life reaches you may the peace of God continue to reign over you even now even now I'm hearing a Miss Anne Miss Anne I'm hearing a Miss Anne I hear the Spirit of God says I'm about to heal you of the pain in your heart. Somebody watching me, Miss Anne. Miss Anne, I hear it in my ears. Miss Anne, I'm about to heal you of the pain in your heart. I speak healing in your heart. In your heart. I don't know what's going on in your heart. You're having trouble breathing. It's like you're having breathing issues. I'm Miss Anne. Miss Anne. I hear a Miss Anne. Blessings, Jenny. Blessings to you. May God continue to bless you. 
May God continue to bless you, you and your family. Whatever is going on, I speak healing and blessing. Sister Donna, Donna from downtown, I pray that God will heal your son, that he will come into understanding his purpose and not allow negativities to take control of his life. My son, I speak healing into your heart right now. Have a good one. You be blessed. Share this live. Looking forward to hearing from you. One love. Peace. See you next week. Same place, same time. On this live at 9 p.m. Three peace. Pray your praise on the prophetic. Bless you.